Hello everybody, welcome back into the green room. Today I'm having a little fun. I don't know, through the coincidences is, 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 is of the universe, I uh, now seem to have myself a rather large cutting from a snake plant that um, needs to be rooted up right quick. And I was just outside checking on those willow cuttings that I've got in the aquaponics system that froze up on me, and uh, they're looking surprisingly healthy. So I cut them back, and I'm going to try and start... Uh, two more willow trees because I don't see any of that variety out here and frankly we miss them so why not grow your own right right let's get started our willow cuttings there looking like a pair of chopsticks right now and the snake plant cutting also uh, what is it mother-in-law's tongue so I've got these cuttings soaking in some water for the time being but I really want to get them into soil well for the most part anyway one of those willow cuttings will end up in just water but that uh, worked for me in the past, so I see no reason not to try it again. Really excited about the snake plant, though. So I've been watching a lot of videos that are going onto the two-cup system, and, you know, it just seems like a good idea. So I've got a few of these prepped and ready to go. Just got to fill them up with soil. I guess they're half prepped, but I wanted to show you. Look, I've got drainage. I'm grabbing a brain. Slowly. In the past, I've been quite successful rooting these willows by just sticking them right into a cup of water slipping a card on top to hold it in place so it stays upright and I think last time I did a video about this it took a whopping nine days for me to have good roots on the willow so gonna start one that way for sure because it's worked in the past another of the million and one ways you can recycle your egg cartons eh? alright so I'm gonna go put this under the light and basically that's that as for the second willow cutting it's gonna be basically just as easy I'm just stuffing it to the bottom into the double cup and that's that never actually rooted one in soil before I'll be curious to see how well this works compared to in the water moving on now from what I've seen taking cuttings from this snake plant here is going to be just as simple just uh, make sure I can tell top from bottom shove the bottom into the soil and give it some time so I'm hoping to get three out of this particular one let's see here Need to give it a decent length though, and I can't quite see through the camera. One second. Now that I'm looking at it cut, these are all my bottoms, these are my tops. I'm starting to think maybe I should have just gone with two there, but I can get more cuttings if I need to. Really kind of a funny story there. So, going down to pay our water bill today, happened to notice that uh, in the RM office, the only plant that they have there is this absolutely beautiful example of how well you can torture a plant in the office and have it survive but it was this snake plant and uh, ladies looked at me real funny when I asked if I could have a cutting from it but they were very very kind about it let me walk right in there choose whichever one I wanted and uh, you know asking me questions about why I was doing it and stuff but yeah it's funny though because we have just been talking the last few days about uh, plants that detoxify the environment because it's an older house so if we can get some plants that are going to help clean up the air of anything that might be what do they call it off gassing from older construction materials then great right i want to be here making videos for you guys as long as i possibly can and hopefully you feel the same way <laughs> that's basically all there is to it though when i'm trying to propagate these willow and uh, snake plant cuttings it's it's like as set it and forget it as you can possibly get for getting more plants into your environment. So we've cut that down into three and uh, I'm going to put it somewhere dark-ish for a few days and then I'll bring it back into the green room. Got those two chunks of willow tree, one's in water, one's in soil. I'll be really curious to see how the one in soil does. It is double cupped though, so if its roots start sticking out the bottom, I'll know. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, it seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to say that's probably it for this one and wrap it up here. But uh, as always, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today in the green room. I hope you have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day from this point on. In fact, have a fantastic every day.